Ladies and gentlemen, massive day for Serbian football. Their final match in the group stage, and this could be their final match in the World Cup if they don't get a result against Switzerland today. They have one point in the group right now. This is a must-win match for them. Taking on Switzerland is not going to be easy. As we already saw from the last World Cup, they already have some history. Remember those Jaka and Shakiri celebrations? They're going to want to get revenge. The motivation for Serbia will be there, but it's up to them to actually put off the result. Their World Cup campaign so far has been a bit disappointing. Sure, they lost to Brazil 2-0. That was expected. Brazil are insane. Against Cameroon, however, they drew 3-3 after Serbia had a 3-1 lead. So they bottled that. Like I said, they only have one point at the moment and they really need to pick it up. Serbia will also be counting on the result between the Brazil-Cameroon match as if Cameroon are able to get a result there, Serbia might also be in trouble once again. But between those three teams, Serbia, Brazil, Cameroon, anything's still possible. I'm still counting on Mitro to still be on fire. He has gotten one goal, I think, so far in this World Cup. Hopefully he scores some more today. Hopefully Dusan Vlahovic pulls through, but we shall see what happens on the pitch today. The final group stage match as well. Unbelievable that we're already about to head to the round of 16s and the round of 16s will begin by the time this video is up. Idemo Serbia. Zishan over here has been supporting Croatia with us, but this time he isn't going for Serbia. What's your score prediction today going to be? Uh, um, I love Switzerland. I got to stay neutral with these guys. Uh, it might be a tie game, uh, seeing as how Switzerland loves to keep everything neutral. I'll say maybe if they're lucky, Mitrovic scores that one goal. Uh, and Switzerland tied up with a 1-1 game. Must win for Serbia. Switzerland would take a draw as long as Cameroon doesn't come out of nowhere. I'm going for a Serbia 3-2 win. I'm going for a lot of goals in this match. I hope so. Hopefully this is an exciting match for any neutral. I'm sure you'll be treated as well. Regardless of the results, Zishan, I feel like yes. this is going to be one of the best matches we're going to see. Absolutely, yeah. Score predictions, Giorgio. I think Switzerland's going to win. Um, I'm saying it's going to be 2-1. Two, two and... You know, based on their previous performances, they did a lot better with Brazil um, and against Cameroon, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, against Cameroon. So I see this match being, you know, very tight, especially because um, of the history behind the two and the rivalry. Uh, but I see Switzerland uh, coming out big. Uh, maybe, you know, towards the end, like I can see a 90th minute goal, you know, and crowd goes wild so everybody against happens. Switzerland today prediction Cheyenne so last time with my Croatia pick I was very surprised I, I'm pretty sure I nailed that prediction for the most part but for this game last time these two teams met in the previous World Cup where there was a lot of controversy in that match for X Y and Z reasons for the goals the celebrations from the Swiss Serbia desperately need the win Switzerland no a tie is good enough for them at some point, Mitrovic and Vlahovic have to turn up because they haven't necessarily had this tournament. I want to see Switzerland win, but I think Serbia's finally got to get that win for themselves at this World Cup. So I'm going to go with a 3-2 thriller for Ooh, Serbia to win this game. That's exactly what I said. Just arrived at Stadium 974. Uh, not only is this match so massive for Serbia, also for me as well, because if Serbia don't pull through today, all of my predictions are going to go to shit. Portugal and South Korea have advanced. Uruguay have not, which means so far I only have one group correct so far in my predictions, Group C. So if Serbia don't pull through today, I'm only going to have one correct in total. Group G has to come through, either more Serbia. Our seats are pretty high up, but the angle's nice. As you can see, we're dead center. Last group stage match we're attending. After that, it's round of 16s. We secured tickets for USA versus Netherlands, so I'm very excited for that. You sticking with your score prediction? Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, I want it to be high scoring. Let's make it 3 2 Switzerland. Oh, okay. Shakiri hat trick. 3 2 Serbia, 3 2 Switzerland. Yes. Shakiri hat trick. Ooh. That would piss off Serbia. Shall we'll one. see. Hey! This is the last against Brazil, he scored it again.
Serbia corner, please. Oh my god. He's on. Oh no, come on. Oh. It's the post. What a cringe play. That was cringe. Unbelievable. Absolutely cringe. He took his time, he didn't rush, he made it happen. Let's go. Serbia's been getting so many opportunities and they just can't convert. I think it was Mitrovic. That's the kind of goal Serbia got to keep scoring. That's what they're best at. They got to take advantage. I'm telling you, I think this will be high scoring. I've ever watched it. We've ever watched it the whole world. I told time. you guys. I told you it was gonna oh be high scoring. Two two. Already in the first half as well. And Bolo. Oh boy. He's been pressing up really nicely. You missed the goal, man. I know. It was incredible. I was hoping that wouldn't happen in like a minute after I left. Thoughts on the half? What an intense half, intense game. Oh my god. If the goalie does not fuck up some more. I think Swiss got a chance to win this thing. But either way, probably our most intense match we've been to so far. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's been incredible. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of energy on both sides. Look like someone's gonna about, someone's about to square up. I'm seeing so much shit talk on both teams. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, what a dramatic match. And it's such a great way to end off the group stage. It's been incredible. This guy missed the last goal we just witnessed for Switzerland. Because he wanted to take the piss before the line got too packed. But hey, it's all good. Hopefully we catch some more goals. It might even be more than 3-2 at this rate. It could be like 5-4. to four. Let's see what happens. Either more.
think the guy in black is throwing shit. Honestly, I think the guy in black is throwing shit. I cannot so believe perfect. how perfectly timed that was. so perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> it, we almost touched them. It's a shame the match has got to end like that. We saw fights between the fans, but now the players as well. It's not looking good. And now, looking real good. Switzerland. We were off on our predictions, but just it was the same exact score, but it went Switzerland's way. What a fight that was. 
Switzerland, honestly, really pulled their weight there, and I'm really surprised Serbia were bottled in. I had so much faith in this national team to pull through in this World Cup, and I was dead wrong. They finished last. They put off some fights. They couldn't beat Cameroon. They didn't deserve this at all. What yeah. are your thoughts on the match? I mean, I think at the end of the day, kind of like what you said, they were a bit unlucky that Serbia, all in all throughout their World Cup uh, campaign, they were unlucky. Our predictions were super close, specifically Monik said at some point, Vlahovic and Mitrovic have to get goals. Yeah, they both yeah. got goals in this game, but I got the scoreline mix up. Fair play to Switzerland. They managed the game, and sometimes that can be so tough. And you know what? It was a good game. It's probably one of the best games we've been to so far out of this World Cup. It was so heated, but I feel bad for the Serbians yet again. Switzerland got their number at the World Cup, and hopefully maybe this could be a realization to Serbia. Hey, maybe we need to make some changes. Somebody needs to change with this national team because this team is too good for this to constantly keep happening to them at World Cups. Yeah, this was their solid opportunity, and I don't understand why Pixie made all of those subs. Why did he take off Lahovic and Milinkovic Savic so early? It made no sense to me, but... It is what it is. I don't, maybe there was something behind the scenes with that. But I had a lot of faith in Pixie to pull through for Serbia, and he wasn't able to do the job at the end. But guys, that's the end of the vlog. We've attended all of the group stage matches that we were able to. Now it's going to be the round of 16s coming up. First up, U.S. Sabres and Ellens. Can't wait for that. Serbia, best of luck next time. Hopefully you pull some numbers. Hopefully you qualify for the next Euros, qualify for your first one, because so far it's been disappointing for you guys in these tournaments. Ciao. Vieni mo se, la conosci.